What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to NBA 2K20, my career. Now, before we get started, the first thing I need to go ahead and talk about is something that went wrong that I had no idea of, and I just kind of want to explain it a little bit. I've already explained it kind of off uh, video, but now that I'm in the video, I can actually, you know, talk to the crowd that may have missed this. Um, I was getting more and more people messaging or commenting me on, on like, on my NBA videos basically saying, oh, this guy plays on pro, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's not even, it's not even that difficult, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, what are you talking about? I play, I've been playing on Superstar for the last two 2Ks. And prior to that, I would play on All-Star. I haven't played on pro in, since like 2K15, I think it was. It's been a while. So I was actually really, really kind of getting annoyed with these comments. I was like, what's going on? So it was happening more and more frequently. I'm like, you better check. So I went to my difficulty and it had somehow defaulted to pro. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I like to play on Superstar, which is the second highest difficulty. I don't play on Hall of Fame because uh, I think it's really cheap and it's far from realistic. Superstar is a bit of a happy medium, you know, it is still diff like challenging, not super difficult, but it, it, it's, you know, it's, it's not like stupidly cheap like Hall of Fame is. That's why I don't like cheap stuff. It bothers me. So that's why I play on Superstar. I don't really care, but... That really bothered me for a couple reasons, because it made it seem like I was lying to you guys. Because I can assure you, if you go look at the early stages, like the early Let's Plays, I think the first 34, 35 parts, I don't even know. Um, I was playing on the Superstar difficulty, and he, I was getting the Superstar uh, bonus, so I, I'm proving to you that I was playing on Superstar with no problem. That's the thing. I wouldn't drop the difficulty down to Pro, especially on a game like this, because in this game, regardless of the difficulty... It's not that hard on any of these difficulties. It really isn't. There's just a few things that differ between them. So pro is just really, the difference between pro and superstar really is that we're going to be getting way, uh, there's going to be way less missed shots by the other team. Like they bricked everything. So we got these massive different, like 40, 50 point differences in, the, in, in each game. And that is absolutely insane. And I'm not having that. I was starting to wonder what was going on. But it didn't make sense to me why it was so so high. I never even thought of it because I was on Superstar. And then I'm like, well, just look. The, I'm getting the Superstar bonus. And I wasn't. I looked and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not getting it. What happened? So the only thing I could think of is during an update, maybe it changed the difficulties and it refreshed them. I don't know. That's all I could think of because I don't need the pro difficulty to win. I've never turned down to pro to win at anything. I've never needed that because as you get better at a game, you just get better at the game. Why would you want to make the game stupidly easy? I just thought this game, because even on Superstar, I was still beasting and feasting, even with lower stats, especially now with these damn near max stats, it's going to be, like this different difficulty is not going to make that much different. I guarantee you it won't. Uh, they might be a little more, I might not be able to get away with as many steals. I might not be able to get away with, you know, certain things. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, I'm still going to be some feast. I know it because I know I'm, I'm pretty solid at this game and I don't need pro difficulty to win at anything. That's the thing I think people misunderstand is they think I'm, they criticize me and they come in they're like, oh, this guy plays on pro. If you actually watch the series, you'd know that I always play on Superstar. That's what I, last year, I changed it to Superstar. I played on All-Star the year before that, I believe. Uh, but I've ever since uh, 2K19, I've been on Superstar just because that's just what I want to do. So I, I I apologize. I didn't want to mislead anybody. That's the whole point of this. Uh, I just, I genuinely did not know that I was on Pro. It never clicked. And, and when the bonus happened at the end of the game, when you get a multiplier bonus, depending on what difficulty you're on, it never clicked there either. I, it never, I never, I just waited for it to get everything. I never thought for a second that it turned off until it was put in my head that, you know, something is different and there's no multiplier. I'm like, wait a minute, there isn't. So that's a big deal. So yeah. So I just figured I'd let you guys know. I apologize that for however many videos, who knows how long it's been on pro for, but it, it's, it sucks. And I, and I feel so shady because I feel like my entire series has like taken a dip in quality. Cause I know people hold you to a higher standard when you're a creator. And I don't want people like, so, like I've been playing these games for, I don't know how long. And it just seems silly to play on one of the easier difficulties. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, I hope you can forgive me. I hope you understand what happened. And I assure you from now on, it'll be on superstar. And now I've learned my lesson. If I ever not see the multiplier multiplier, excuse me, at the end of a game, I know something's wrong and I'll change it immediately. Like I said, I want to challenge myself and I want to still get the perks of playing on a harder difficulty especially i don't want it too easy i just assumed that was the game because each game has been different depending on the difficulty so will it get any harder 
Might, but honestly, nothing I can't handle. It's not li literally like my skills are there. It's just the AI is insanely stupid on pro. Uh, so hopefully they'll be a little more challenging. So anyway, we're going to go in. We're going to get practiced up and yeah, have a better experience. So once again, I apologize. Thank you for listening. I know this has been a long intro, but I wanted to get it off my chest. All right. So let's get into this. Thank you guys. Let's do it. And a glimpse inside the locker room. Players final few moments to prepare for the game and the task ahead. All right, welcome to New York City. The biggest thing I'm going to feel is like there have been many updates since I last played on, you know, apparently last played on this difficulty. So I'm not worried, though. I just know it's going to be different. I also have to test out my Hall of Fame uh, quick release. I don't know if you guys remember, I bought that. make decisions with the basketball to help open up and spread up your offense for your guards and your quicker players to slash. Let's see if we can get done. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Under down low at four with Harrell in the middle. I just see, and I don't Paul understand. George, it doesn't matter. Williams. Superstar, and it does not Quinn matter. The point. I'm and still going to do all these moves. That's Randall what people criticize me for. The four and the five. But Dan it's just funny. They're like, ow, he's and like, look, Superstar. I play on Hall of Fame and watch you get wrecked. Who cares? Time, I've never understood that. that time from Leonard. On the wing. That's going to be dirty. The no. Clippers rebound. Sure. Robinson Why would you ball. do PG? You were way too. And here we go. Nobody oh, I'm nowhere near him. Near Allen. Drops in Not bad. The off the fast break. Many times you don't like that shot selection, but sometimes when you're just feeling it in transition, but no one's on you. Great he shot is on there. me. Oh, whoa. Quinn kicks to George inside. And oh, I got blocked that time. Allen. Oh, he dropped it though. Watch the corner. Where is he sagging? No good with the triple. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender. Oh, that's brutal. A lot of air balls. There might be more of that, though. So far, the team just one of five, and that rim shrinking. Offensive rebound. Oh, you got to get that board. Oh. Contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up, and the foul called on Los Angeles. The next shot. Can't shake and bake. Throws here for the night. And in terms of team numbers. The free throw percentage is right at 74. Robinson hits them both. Well, Fisdale, part of those great teams in Miami as an assistant coach with Eric Spolstra, he coaches with a lot of fire and enthusiasm. He's very involved emotionally in what his team does on a daily basis. Come on, let me skip. It's so brutal when you're trying to get through with that. Towards his coaching staff. And now a chance to honor a player who has been on fire recently. His players Can we are go? Him. Player of the week and the holy hell, that was the longest well, he's unskippable. He's been an absolute magician when the ball has been in his hands. There isn't any aspect of the offense that he has contributed. Let's in. finish. All right, let's it's turn it up. Pleasure to watch. I mean, unless you are an opponent, we still need that one steal. His play has been a vivid nightmare. And New York we still need that one steal like to get the record for most steals in a season. It's going to help the Knicks as they move forward here. Try to find some stability with their coach. That way, David Fisdale and his messaging can remain consistent with the type of players that they try to. Yeah, the defense is better, that's for sure. And here is Los Angeles now. The Knicks making the shot. Here's Quinn, and that one. You still get behind him. Well, you don't Just want gotta to be a little smarter. Too far ahead, Greg, but this team is completely gearing up for a deep playoff run. And you can't ignore that. And with the way Shea has improved, I'm all over him, but he still makes it. Numbers he's put up. You have to think that they See, yeah, they're going to make the better shots. Teams come playoff time. Pass to Harold. Dishes it to Quinn. Oh, that was no good. Back to Harold. I'm like stuck in this. Passes it to Quinn. Over Allen. And again, yep. another basket there from Quinn. Quinn's got eight points. Now that basket must be wide. Let's go, out baby. Right now. Let's Kevin, go, he's baby. Almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Allen passes to Randall. There's not much passing happening. Offensive rebound. Oh my god. Tough break there, shot after shot. There you go, they finally. Anything to fall. For Los Angeles, they've gone 50% from the field at this point, four of eight. Here's Leonard. Oh, and we got the foul. On that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. The Clippers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him. Allen's all over the place. Oh, I'm jumping out. early. Too much D. That shot missing. Great D I'm long gone. From here. Outside Leonard to the inside. Well, you see the there you go. in terms of high level playmaking, a great understanding of all the offensive scheme that Kawhi Leonard possesses. Now here's Allen, guarded by Quinn. Allen passes to Randall. Oh, they're leaving him open. Footer. Good. See, my defense what, might be doing stuff like that. To watch how he plays the game from this seat. Here's Quinn. Wow, I'm surprised at that. Catch and shoot. From long range in the first quarter. Waiters find Allen. Back to Waiters. Sagging off a lot. The, arc. the Clippers grab the miss. That was brutal. They come into this having risky pass. Phoenix the last game. And if you look at the box score from their game, guys, the first thing you'll notice. They do a lot of that. I will say. They force. Well, all those turnovers made it a scrappy game, which suits them. It caused a lot of chaos with their defense, which played right into their hands. Now here's Allen. Oh, I left him. By Lou Williams. A lot of inside paint. See that time from Leonard. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there. Come on, baby. Use the hard foul. Got it. it <laughs> a little dicey, but we got it. Just how Make awesome sure I got a good placement. To watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game. Well, the Knicks had a lot of turnover trading for expiring contracts. They did what they could to accommodate the wishes of a lot of vets. Yeah, the problem right now for the Knicks is they're not inviting to a lot of free agents, and that's really where they're trying to make Oh, look at play. that defense, though. So fascinating over the course of the past decade that New York has not been able to attract the top-tier talent. So oh, wow. Building through the draft. Coach Fisdale hopeful that they'll land a lot of that. They don't one way. See the problem another. is they don't always pass Just back. Doing the job oh, why are you switching me? Why are you doing that? And no box out in. again. Two free throws coming oh up and they call the shooting foul. Let's take this moment to bring you a leaderboard featuring a very well-rounded group, the top rebounding small forwards in the NBA the last 10 games. The fourth spot held by Kawhi Leonard. You know, the work they do on the boards is such a big part of all these players' game. I mean, they play much bigger than the grand on, majority Rob. of small forwards in our league. Well, these are the it's keeping the game closer, right though. Bigger and tougher. They are fearless when it comes to crashing That's one thing I've been wanting. And I'll tell you what, it really lightens the load on your bigs when you've got two rebounds. Oh, that's like annoying. Guys at the small oh, forwards. come on, bro. Marcus has checked in for New York. Smith comes in for Kadeem Allen. I'm really mad York. that the game switched Kevin my difficulty. I really am Robinson. because and you're prepared a certain way. Zubats is checked in for Los Angeles. Zubats against Randall. Smith outside. Here's the three. I'm there. Unable to get that one. So the Clippers will take it the other way. And the bucket and is one. good. Three point Beautiful. Three chance here for him. And boy, he's really in a group. Dominant performance last That was game. money. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Got to get some assists out here, though. Violet has checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Jamaica I got to say, their, in for their guards the are just making runs at this point. That floater can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where oh. your point of commitment Easy. is. And there it is for him. I love you know, that. Last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball. Oh, I got Oh, man, that was my steal. And there's no. the pass to And looks like and I got another one. Was set. Yep, that's right. get oh, it's a legal screen. Right so I actually got the steal. That That's funny. I got the seal and it switched over to me anyway. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Harkless is checked in for. Oh, he's bopping it. They get the rebound. Quinn kicks to Harkless. Better shot. Misses oh, that's three. frustrating. Knicks trail by six. Come on, boys. Not the pass to I was going to say, I thought I got a clean steal on that other play. And Harkless pulls it down. Los Angeles is gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. 
Oh, oh wow. my. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big I'm a little far. For your exclamation point, maybe, maybe even a question, even a question mark. mark. Smith Jr. working on his shot and now working to get going in the mid range. Here's Quinn. Nice, oh, simple dunk, put it down. Time. Let him know. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Oh, whoa. Only uh, they're pulling me. I'm surprised I got a reach there. They just don't want me to have this steal, bro. Setting the floor for the Clippers. The two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward slots. Look at that D. And it's Williams. Then there's Harold, and it's Quinn in at the point. Guys, they're looking for. Oh, look at him run it. Yeah, nice. A tough time taking the Twenty points off. in the first quarter was money. I'm good with that. Score inside, outside, it really doesn't matter. Lou Williams is a huge threat to score, especially coming off the bench. Now here's Allen. Seven points in the game. Waiters outside. Oh, he's there. And again, Long it's the missing. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Sure. Oh, uh, that was weak. Goes back up. And Harold with the lay-in. Good. Harold's got his third. That was really weak. Right there. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Sucks I lost my takeover. Hi. Shot. My board or my foul. I've already got three guys. And he'll go to the line for two. That's not good. If you were building an offensive system from scratch, what would be your favorite style of play? I would really tend to lean on three guards that could handle the basketball, Kevin. Guys who can initiate plays from all over the floor and really look to Let's run it. players that are, are smart about playing off the ball. You combine three of those guys with the hey, I'll take the foul. Them, so one has it, and the other two are maneuvering around. They're going to cause so much commotion. They're going to cause uh, so many breakdowns defensively within a possession uh, that a, a multitude of two shots the hard players, way. That would be tremendous. And Tough all of those defend, guys, right, yeah, but all those guys too, Kevin. On top of that, if we talked about their physical nature and stature, I would want guys that are six, 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 seven, and long because when you get back to the other uh, end, you want them to be able to coordinate and take up enough room defensively to cause some problems. But man, three guards, three long guards, and, and this is something that Phil Jackson relied on during the years when they won championships yes, in Chicago. He always looked for long guards. Aside from Jordan and Pippen, there was the Ron Easy Hunters money for them. The that helped accentuate what they could do on the perimeter. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line oh, to get to the bad line. Bounce. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. And let's check out a breakdown. Looking at some stats for him. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? A lot of free throws. Games, he's been a machine. I mean, we, we are, it's very man. even. That's the thing. A the game is staying score even. than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. When he came into the NBA, Kawhi Leonard wasn't the most refined player, but something in Spurs management and with the work of the coaching staff, they found a superstar. Trying to stay down. Allen shot is off. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's a nice. Defense that's what I was looking for. His feet off. He gives the effort. Down I saw there Kawhi go around everybody. Times. Yeah, you don't see many of these opportunities for this team, but Kawhi, one guy who stripped it. Up no, dude, they just won't it, let me get it. They won't let me get that final steal. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. That's rude. Well, we all know that circumstances and time changes everything. In Dallas, Dennis Smith Jr. thought he was going Should to I go the be post? the cornerstone. Go the post. But with the arrival of Luka Doncic, everything changed. The ah, point guard was too many, to too the many defenders. And Smith said it was important. And I was on a bigger man, a so. Big opportunity, and I've just got to make the most of it. Well, Kevin, we know one thing in New York: the ball is back in Smith's hands. And Da, that's when he is at his best. Thank you. Oh, stripped him with the steal. On the wing, Williams. Pop it. All sorts of time. And that nice, one Lou. Is good. Williams has got his second bucket. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Pass to Robinson. And here is Williams. He is defended by Harold. 
fades and shoots. Oh, that would have been a Here's bad Collins. shot. New York, no good that time either. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low Ooh. in the post. Yeah, we love when great offensive players get Honestly, a man. rhythm, but Paul George right now in a great passing rhythm tonight. Ball's Strip thick, get loose. the ball. There it is. And remember that steal, folks. History has been there it is. GA, he now stands number one all time for most teams. There it is. They got to applaud that. A simply sensational year. Every game Woo. he's come up with steal after steal, and now he owns the top spot on the steals. There list it is. All time. Wiping out the previous record of 301 set back in 1986. And here on the road, he's playing the villain role to perfection. That's dirty. Stealing with reckless abandon. Like he's done all season, one of the best pickpockets in league history. I mean, think about the last time we've seen a player get steals at the rate that he has this year. You have to go back pretty far. It's been a historic defensive year for him. Now, here is Robinson. All right, they're running that out. Almost six points a game. Raiders with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Oh, I'm too close. But they get it there. Here's Randall. Plays it I'm too little. It wouldn't have mattered. Randall's got five points in the quarter. Somebody not alert to block out the wide frame of Julius Randle, who gets in there after the loose ball. Oh, no and one. As the, whistle blows, the switch got me. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. A lot more free throws because they're, they're actually fouling me instead of just letting me go in. That's also a difference with the difficulty. So I'll be going to the free throw line a lot more, you can tell. Commissioner Silver is also because the defense is better. Another, another steal. Shrink the season. What do you think? Ooh. I think be interesting. I'm not sure financially how the league goes back from an 82 game season and ticket sales That's dirty. and revenue and television and how they kind of unwind what it is they've agreed to. Oh, I thought but I was going to get them there too. Games to me, in terms of the competition, Kevin, in terms of the elevated play of the star players sack. on a nightly basis. That's, that's a bad shot. Great game, G from Kawhi. Here in every game and not be sat out for load management and things like that. Nice. Overall, it, I healthy. wanted to pop it, but as hell, I'll take he's that. In this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out, get of, the out of the way. Stripped it, but oh, he got rid of it. Robinson kicks to Allen. Barnes outside. It's all about timing. From oh, that's good. Oh, he got him. Three point pop. Barnes has got himself on the board with three there. The defense got to recognize that Harrison Barnes more than capable from there. Quinn, this is the Williams. I actually had a beat, but they left Lou all together. Why would they just ditch like that? Inside, their last three field goals have come from the paint. Knicks trail by ten. Oh, I almost got him there too. Back to Allen. Oh, we got the no, oh, my foul. Gets the whistle and two shots That's four fouls. They, they might pull me. Every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. So far, he's hit all yeah. of his shots. I'm not shocked. Foul. Too many fouls too early. So I'm not getting as much playing time due to this cheese, but just four seconds. I'm putting myself in the there. Second. And all you gotta Rick. do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead well every time the shot goes up guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to all right so kind of rebound. a quick uh first Angel, half it's the los angeles clippers looking at a 13 point lead that's solid the lead quarter. what a night they've had in terms of their shooting everything i'm not shooting as many i'm doing a lot more inside right scoring because the jumper i'm still getting used to because like i said that hall of fame release is so quick i gotta figure it out again sometimes this i mean it's you have such an early release. The, the defense there is not as good. Rank two in NBA for free throw percent. All right. It won't let me skip any of this. Like, holy crap. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly. All right. The they're still not letting me in, so it should be right after. Oh, what? oh, that makes sense. My controller wasn't, wasn't working right. I've noticed that happens. PlayStation products. Just don't work sometimes when they're not plugged in. Now, a it could be the Xbox. Or sorry, it could Quinn's be the console itself. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. I need more space. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. And New York. I was all alone. I had to take that jumper. 
It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Allen is out there with Deion Waiters. And it's Barnes oh, wrong side. at the three spot. Passes it to Randall. Good for his sixth Where was and D there? Attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Let's go. Is looking like we got a nice lead on him, though. Of taking on the whole offensive load. Quinn. Oh, man. Had to switch. The Quinn's got four points this quarter. Just looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Here's how Gotta stay down. And that'll be two free throws I'll just play up. hands on defense. With the foul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. He's gone six of six from the free throw line. And he can't get Brick. the first one. At the line for two. Brick. He hits the second for the line. <laughs> Los Angeles leading by 14. To the paint. Here's Quinn. Again, Ooh. Los Angeles. Nice little spin and, and move. Keeping the ball, hopping around here offensively. And so Allen will bring it up for the New York Knicks. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. I'm a Rob Robinson. Waiters gets a wide-open look. New York, no good that time either. Whoa! On the glass. What were you doing? It's allowed them to Why were you giving it to him? Oh, but off the Leonard easy. The steal. Here's Quinn. Wow. That happens and way Barnes more. Comes to help. Williams passes to Leonard. Six to shoot. Here's Quinn. Yep. Good. He hits oh, him. that's nice. <laughs> and with 40 points for him, his climb towards history continues. GA, it seems like every time he takes the floor, it's a step closer to the record for most 40 point games in a season. And historians might have guessed Try to that grab the it. most 40 point games. Oh, what a spike, but. From Wilt Chamberlain's incredible 1962 campaign. It will be hard to match 63 games of 40 or more, but this young yep. fella just might do it. And yes, it's good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just oh, great sorry ball about that. movement. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to steal. Montrez Harrell and the type of energy and effort that he brought last Robinson's year. Robinson's in the way. To help solidify, I guess, most of the culture piece of what Steve Ballmer wants this franchise to be about. That's playing hard, playing with. Oh, nice. Get it. Get the ball. And having oh. some enthusiasm for the competition. Montrez Harrell wraps all those things up pretty nicely. Go, Kawhi. He plays. Nice. It's good. Two points. Beautiful. Now we're taking and over. Seven points for Leonard. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Oh, he dropped right it. They need a jump ball. Bit of a mismatch, there, though. No well, possession. not really. We'll have a jump ball. And Montrez Hero, Brent, beloved in the locker room. It's on me, so I got to do it. He's beloved because every night when you go out on the floor with him, you know what you're going to get. Ooh, I thought I got the win. He's incredibly competitive. Sorry, I wasn't controlling Kawhi properly. And plays with a physical presence that he doesn't shy away from anybody that's on the floor. That's infectious. Quinn kicks to Harold. No. Oh, that's near. dirty. Ooh, and it's another assist for me. His release was weird. He's got eight points. <laughs> that's their third straight make off an assist. Randall outside. Oh, that's a reach. That's number five. I can't reach anymore. For real, that's number five. I'm going to be sitting. That's way too many fouls. Outside for Robinson. No, no, no. Switch. I was trying to get my player, but I couldn't. Ooh, what a block. But he can't get it back. Oh, that was on me. Oh, bro. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass, and that's one of the things he brings to the table. Here's Quinn. 43 points in the game. Lays Got it. The pretty alley -oop. That was a little oh, weird. A Sorry about that. Touch on both ends of that pretty alley -oop. I gotta say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. It's gonna be hard to resist reaching, you know. Now on the bounce pass. Robinson with it. Now guarded by Quinn. Waiters dishes to Barnes. Five to shoot. I made him pick it up. I couldn't do much. 
And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined oh. finisher. Sorry about that. I should have just shot it. And Robinson comes to help. Easy. 10 points from Montrez Harrell. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Damn it, switch to my... Inside, here's Randall. Beautiful. Who am I switching to? It's hard to get the guy you need. Well, Randall finding out some creative ways how to score on the inside, oh, becoming shit, smarter Sorry, guys. and more adept at doing so. Quinn passes to George. Yep. Uses the glass to finish there the you go. That's 10 assists. The chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Allen surveying the D. Fouled on the shot. And wow, that's a two filthy points. foul. So one free throw coming up. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. In play right, I should have done that. What are some of the primary nice. things that can be taught? I think in today's game, what a lot of PD oh, sorry about coaches that. are looking at, Kevin, is oh, decision-making, playing out of the pick and roll, and coming off into a spot where you're making the correct reads. It's much like when you cover a lot of Oh, I jumped. Talk to quarterbacks I couldn't. about their check downs. Yes. I think you can teach guys how it is that when they come off a screen, Ooh, what's going to be go. available to them. Just and get the points. I want jumpers so that work towards the, the new floor, badges, they but become second nature again. in terms of their decision-making. That can be huge. And then the second thing is always player development, working on confidence and shooting the basketball. Oh, how did he just, just waltz in? Guys to feel like whatever shot they're taking, they've got a great chance to make it. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. Yeah, that one drops for him. Beautiful. Quinn's got forty-seven points. When a player gets a feel for that floater. Can really make things tough on God, I want to steal, but not sure how that's a bad shot. Where your point of commitment oh, come is. on, boy. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Now the pass to Zubats. Here's George over Allen. Shakes him. And nice. George finishes inside. That was clean. Just got six points in Had the him in the air there. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Smith, the pass to Morris. Randall right side. Oh, nice steal. Zoob's getting the steal. Here's Leonard. And oh, Leonard God, I love that. Look at me walking away. Power and explosiveness. Leonard just tenacious at the rim. And so Allen will bring it up for New York. Oh, watch that. Reporter, oh, what a steal, but he can't get control. He became a head coach oh, in Memphis wow, and New got York. Him. David Fisdale spent eight seasons as an assistant under Eric Spolstra in Miami. Now, Spo said he's a oh, basketball I'll keep doing that. has exceptional gold standard level communication skills. Ooh, One of the almost. most talented get off coaches get off I've been around. So, Kevin, Fisdale is highly respected. David, he sure is. Great reputation. Now getting his shot. Thank you so much. To the inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on George. A superstar summer, Greg, for the Los Angeles Clippers and Kawhi Leonard and in Paul George. Greg, they have two elite wings, great defenders in Come their on, baby. prime. He's tired, but Give he's still making buckets. But, but also Kawhi Leonard pushing the levers behind the scenes. He, he wanted another superstar to join him in recruiting Paul George, who still had two years left oh, on the OKC. Kawhi took unprecedented control of his free Oh, man. Custody. That's not well, what I New wanted York to do. Gone eight of sixteen in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at fifty percent. The offensive rebound and Los Angeles guys uh, shooting fantastically in this game, sixty-two percent from the floor. Oh, dang! And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. There's a fifty-point game. The X factor. The Knicks shooting forty-seven percent from the field in the third. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Don't blame them. And coach can't be happy, and and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. The Knicks. Make All right, come on, man. I hate I, again. I hate waiting for that. The unskippable. Standings out east. Take a look at the Knicks. Pretty it hasn't rubbish. Been a great season for them. We may see some changes in the offseason. 
Well, I think for New York, they're already looking to the offseason. And that's a shame. Their fans deserve Look at that a D, little bit but more from this team. I had to stay down. Body language right now kind of telling the story. Losing takes a huge toll on you, especially during an 82-game grind. They kick it out to Green. Why would I want Green? Pass to Zubats. Here's Quinn. Shot clock at six. And Morris comes over to help. Pop it, Hart. Right open look. Yep. And again, the clip nice. is good for Nice. Get two. the best shot. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it. I'm all over him. He shares the ball like that. Los Angeles has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Here's Quinn. Come on, boo. And good. A little There's lucky bounce. Another. And this game My perfect has releases haven't been coming out. I've noticed being tired helps. Greg, he's been or gets you a little bit. Offensive onslaught. Morris, left side. Smith outside. Look at that D. I stayed down. Again, I can't risk it. Still a whole quarter to be played. Dennis Smith Jr. creating the separation. Here's Quinn. Come on. I'm surprised, man. I feel like that would have gone down. All these badges. Got a piece of it. Get that filth. Here's Quinn. Non-stop scoring machine here. Good on the bucket. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team. That's showing a bad up shot. Here, running plays that turn into scores. And so it's Los Angeles with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. They've had active hands in a forced. Anyway, we're still having a great game. We're just a little state more in foul trouble than normal. The game. And the definition of my law probably right there, guys. I mean, what great Why? communication between them and, and what yep. a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of. Oh, they're keeping me off for a little bit. It's that foul trouble, man. It really cheesed us. But despite all the minutes, we have some good, uh, good stats. Barnes checked in for Damian Dotson. And Dion Waiters subbed in for Trier. And the Clippers making a change here yep. as well. Quinn's checked Just in. Just a two, but I'll take it. For two. <coughs> he is at his best when it matters most. This game is Getting catch and shoot Hall of Fame will be able to up. make those threes. Setting the floor for the Clippers. We've got more Way more frequently. He's out there with Murray. It's Kevin Kelly in at the center, filling out the middle. To the middle. All day. Well time pass, and Easy. it goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Nice. Good box out. Here's the Clippers. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Quinn passes to Harkless. Kicks it to Quinn. Oh, he's all over me. All right, fine. We'll play it that way. If you were commissioner, Brent, of the NBA, look at that. <laughs> alter any rules right now? Wow. Uh, first of all, I think you get to fly on a really nice plane wherever you're going, and you get to go to I any game him. you want to. Yeah. So sign me up With for that With courtside seats, by the way, too. Uh, add or alter any NBA rules. Yeah, I'd prefer that. I prefer that. I think the game is in a pretty good place nice. right now, Kevin. Um, and, and there's not much that I, I, I think is out there for us to change. It seems like All-Star Weekend and the length of the season seems to be two pretty prominent things that continually come up. Yeah, and, and as far as the I mean, question, look at the I stats. my head was going to things that are on the floor. I was thinking that They're, too, but I couldn't think of anything that really... On the floor, it's tough to, to figure out something that, that, shot. that could be adjusted. That's right to and me. It's another rebound. Adam Silver and David Stern before him. All of their concern mostly is about the, yep. the optics of the game. Beautiful. And uh, right now it's in a pretty good spot. It's very pleasing to watch. There's no doubt. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Waiters is all now over the place. Here's Waiters. He's covered by Shannon. Morris, left side. Barnes, outside. Oh, get that board. That three off the mark. 
And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of the slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Yep, look at that. That's dirty. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the Trying to get that takeover. He just can't miss. Ooh, I, I reach, but for a way to score here. I'm trying yeah, not to reach. It's like a habit every time they dribble down to go off. for a reach there. For so long, the U.S. has been the country. Well, we got rid of it. He almost chucked it out. Basketball play. But uh, there are some big time challengers around the globe emerging. Well, oh, I see Shamit. I was worried, Spain though. Continue to be competition that, that the U.S. takes extremely seriously. And I'm not saying oh. you take everybody. Oh, there goes my takeover. Against with, with I forgot I had it so close. I should have done something reliable. Uh, we, we know from years in the past that Argentina had its golden mm -hmm. age with the, the players around Manu Ginobili and Oberto and Nocioni. Uh, but that seemed to be a timing thing there you for go. the Argentinian. Now. I don't need it. Spain and Serbia will continue to be impressive and continue to push USA basketball uh, in these international tournaments and Olympic play. Yeah, but it's not even funny. Waiters outside. New York, no good. That That's so rude. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all oh, what a pass. Burn them from three-point range. Yeah, there you go. There's 15. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched. So wait, there was a 15 assist game. Inside. I forgot. How come it didn't activate last time? New York's gone ice cold from three-point land. All four since the start of the final quarter. These guys are both cold. Now Morris, it's by a pizza. By a pizza. Mark and the drop continues. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting oh, here. Waste. And you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. I was thinking about lobbing it, but I didn't have enough. The first free throw is good. There are a few players now host podcasts, participate uh, with those elements, with those vehicles during the season. Any thoughts on that? I think it's great. I think it's fantastic for our fan base and for our, our players. Well, they just let them go in. To have conversations and share a little bit more about their personality. It, it, it grows them as people, I think, Kevin, especially I've listened to J.J. Reddick's many times older, yes. and you learn something new, not only about players, but about their interests and how they're spending time. And I think if you were a young player, let's say you were a high school senior. You're That's going, too easy. You're a college player. I waited for my right to shot. Some of the things that guys are talking about in their experiences, I think it's invaluable for what it is that you don't know exists around the player in the NBA. And for you to- Oh, how did I not get a steal there? About how difficult the task is, how mentally taxing. So these things are great outlets for the players. Ellington with it. They gotta get rid of it. He's not gonna have time. Harkless with the steal. Pass to Magruder. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Woo! And there you go. 70 pass. What a sensational finish. Yeah, you, you gotta be able to get some hang time to do that one. That was beautiful. Here is Ellington. Pass to Barnes. Oh, and I get the board too. Quinn's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, his shots aren't. Why was nobody running they with me? Haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough. I'm annoyed that no one was him. there. I would have chucked the lob up. It. That was the hope. Barnes against Murray. Brett with advanced. Oh, he got impatient with him. Becoming commonplace in the NBA. Which stats you personally hold most valuable? Well. It's amazing to talk about effective field goal percentage. Mm -hmm. I, I laugh a lot which, about- which, which is everything, shoot free throws. Yeah, well, you would use, I like to use true shooting percentage, Kevin, because that's- No way. Three point shooting oh, wow. Three point shooting percentage and your free throw percentage. Everything. everything. Any other time, that wouldn't have worked. a lot of people around the league, general managers and coaches, I, I laugh inside to myself a little bit, like, oh, so now shooting's important? Like, what, like now shooting's important <laughs> right, around right, the league? Right. As if, you know, oh, whoa. The, the time that you go out to start playing basketball, you grab a ball, you, you go towards the goal, and your goal is to make the shot. And so we're talking so much more about how much shooting is valuable. Ah. Um, 
I'm sorry. Field goal percentage is Couldn't get an open shot. With true shooting percentage I'm just too tired at this game. point. I mean, 70 points? Come on, bro. We were just waiting for that Gatorade logo to pop up. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Pass to Quinn. Randall ah. has the board. Randall's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Trier. I'm just not fast enough at this point. Here's Dotson. Oh, I wasn't even near him. What was that? Goes to the reverse layup and traps it in. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. All right, I'm sorry, all. I'm getting really tired. The has been just fantastic around 65% tonight, getting exactly what they want when they want it. Whoa. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the contract structure for NBA first-rounders, two years guaranteed, two years of team options, qualifying offer. Brent, should we consider changing that up? I think it's working. There we go. Just stay, well, Kevin, stay calm, make these free throws. Out there trying to find... Beautiful. Players out there that are giving you value beyond your contract. That free throw percentage is uh, pretty high. So a team that has a first round pick, one through ten, one through twenty, and you hit on a draft choice, you potentially could get three years. Oh, he shoved them. Four when you have incredible players coming into the league as their first year changing franchises around. But a player it still is 144 to 94 value though. Than the contract that they're getting 95. At that time. So I don't see that changing much. It gives teams a long enough time to evaluate the talent coming in. Seems to be working. It, it does. And, and the players that prove it are looking at at the calendar saying, could I fast forward three years? Because I really like the calendar. Wow. What I'm doing These here. shots are not dropping anymore. It's kind of annoying. Downtown in the fourth. Oh, no. I just want to be subbed oh, off. Oh, that's nuts. Randall getting up there. That's not much time, though. Putting on a bit of a show here. Passes it to Quinn. 13 feet. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that at all. Oh my god. What was that? Why? I tried to pass it back. But he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And as we head to the final buzzer here. The more shots I make at this point. Big time dominance. And this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Clippers. You don't see this kind of a blow often, but tonight this Take is the high a percentage. quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And what's been a oh, there should have been someone boxing out. And will push their amazing win total on the season to 68. An outstanding, outstanding no one's there. season we've watched That's this too easy. Play. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. Trier Figured I'd go for a Robinson. reach now. Randall left side. It's hauled in by Zubats. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. Make sure and I that's finished a guy it. That you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. They're not happy. Are they still going to shake and bake me? That free throw good from Quinn. Money. Both free throws. 78 points. Quinn. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Trier, covered by Quinn. Here's Randall. Hits the tip. Oh, he makes it. Jumper. All right, well, I can Offensive take the last shot. Or I can... Randall comfortable from that range to knock one down. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. And well, I wanted 80, so. And there's <clears throat> 80 points. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> just wow. This guy right now on another level. They're going to hold it. That's fine. So it's Los Angeles winning Ooh. this one easily. Most assists to use turnovers. That was murder. Now give me that superstar bonus, man. Awful lot about this team. I, I guess that was some cheddar cheese, if you ask me. There you go. 40 points. Shooting is getting boosted immensely. We almost have the next badge after one game. There you go. Great in stats. See how much faster that could have gone up? You know what I mean? Like, if I... I'd have probably maxed out my badges. Hey, Kevin. Jay, another outstanding defensive display this season. And now, you're the all-time single-season steals leader. 
What has gotten into you defensively? Uh, hey, you know, D.A., defense was something I really wanted to dedicate more effort coming into the season. You know, I challenged myself more to be destructive. And I think hard work and the hours I spent, you know, grinding, it showed up. Well, you have to know the game to know where the ball is going to be. And you have done that. Congratulations on the record. Get those fan Guys. boosts. Thank you, David. Seals record. And we ended up, <laughs> after the difficulty swap, 80 points, 4 boards, 15 assists. That's right. All right. We're still in the award races. Nothing new. So I'm happy about that. There might be something in the social media, though. Uh, just check in. Uh, is it going to say anything about... It's not saying about the steals. The old, there it is. Single right, 301 is no more. 303 on the year. So I got two extra on top of that. That's insane. We still going to get more too. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is going to be it for this video. Truly successful. Really happy about it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like. Follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000. Twitter at DanQ8000. Snapchat DanQ8000. Instagram at DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% of your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. And finally, guys, if you want to become a DanQ8000 member to get exclusive perks such as badges by your name and of course emojis to use in chat and then the monthly game giveaway draw you're entered into there's a link in the description uh if you sign up to that you get all those perks and it helps the page directly oh also the big join button in case you missed the link in the description right below this video all right guys thank you so much again take care have a great day i'll be seeing you soon for more content but until then let's hand things over to knox hill have a good one guys Yeah.